It is uh, January 15th, 2020, 6.58 p.m. Still have not messed up the date of the year yet. This is episode 756. Um, I had uh, a couple of different ideas in my head that I was going to sit down and, and do a couple of different topics. And then I saw, um, honestly, I was inspired to do this cartoon by another cartoon I saw. It was a cartoon on the subject by a right winger who's um, the guy's a friend of mine. I haven't really talked to him in a long time. And even back when I used to, used to see him in person, I never knew that he was this kind of like fuck nut, but apparently he is. Uh, but I haven't talked to him because I just don't want to ruin our friendship. Um, but I saw this cartoon of him criticizing the Democrats for their lack of diversity. Seriously, if you're a Republican criticizing Democrats for lack of diversity, yeah, keep doing it. Yeah. You know how many, um, how many African Americans are in Donald Trump's regime? In his, uh, how about just in his cabinet? Just in his cabinet. How many? If you can name two, just go ahead. Just go go crazy. Criticize Democrats. You can't. Uh, and previously, uh, in within the White House, his highest ranking advisor who's black uh, was Omarosa. Seriously, if the, the two best Americans with the darker skin tone that you can find within your party is Ben Carson and Omarosa, you need some more diversity, <laughs> seriously. Now, now, there is an Asian American in the cabinet, but does it count if she's married to Mitch McConnell? Mitch McConnell? And there is a Latino, but does it count if he gave Jeffrey Epstein a sweetheart deal? <laughs> you know, a, a prosecution deal? Um, have you been to a Republican convention? Have you been to an NRA convention? Yeah. Just shut it, Democrats. So anyway, but whenever the, the, I was thinking of this last night, or this morning, and it hit me because, you know, I wasn't sleeping at all, so I thought, let me just go ahead and get to work, and I was sitting here to, staring at my blank template for like three minutes, debating, should I try to get some more sleep, or should I go ahead and draw this, but now I'm glad I did it, and uh, I knew I had to get up and go do something today, and I knew I'd be really tired, but I did okay, so I was all right. I did get some sleep, and I woke up about an hour ago. Let's do some shadows. This is kind of another crowd scene, I guess. Would you consider this a crowd scene? Let me know. Is that a crowd? Crowd of white people. But when I thought of the mayo on mayo, that just really, really cracked me up. I don't know why. I just thought it was super funny. And I have a couple more ideas in my head, but um, and some more subjects, but... I don't really, I'm not really set yet for what I'm going to do next. Let's see where I go to. Alright, um, let's do some shout outs. Robert Pacino wants a new article of impeachment. Um, uh, international murder, Donald Trump committed a cold-blooded murder. There might need to be another one if it turns out that they were looking to hire goons to stalk and maybe uh, whack the ambassador to Ukraine. Um, Arrow is reporting as requested. I, I asked, did I refer to it? To this whole thing, like whenever I'm gonna say your name, if you give me uh, a comment, I'm gonna give you a shout out. The YouTube factory or the YouTube machine? Errol says, pretty sure I said YouTube factory in the last video, but she prefers YouTube machine, but that's her style. If I'm wrong, whoever wants to check episode 754, cut me in. I don't think anybody's going to. Uh, anyway, she gave us a red. She'll thank you with a bunch of emojis. And there's a red heart emoji. Paul Venetian came in with his very first comment, I believe. Hello, Paul. This is your shout out, Paul Venetian. Uh, and he wrote, like, sub, excellent. And then he also wrote, this is great, get ready for fame, keep your head on straight, bro, mark my words. <laughs> I don't think cartoonists really get that famous. Maybe, it, like, they're rare ones, like Watterson or Schultz, but not really political cartoonists. And even the most famous of us, you know, it's not like we get fan clubs where people stalk us down and stuff like that. I have had stalkers, but I don't think it had anything to do with my cartoons. Or, if it did, they weren't like the, the stalkers that... It's not because they like you. <laughs> so, most of I get online stalkers. The scary ones. The scary ones. They try to find out where you live.
It does occur to me that I've had these same strings in this guitar since I bought it. When did I buy it? Last June? I think, maybe. Maybe July. There's your cartoon, buddy. There it is. I hope you like it. I hope you dig it. Uh, I went back and I changed the mayonnaise in it because at first I had it like drippy, but then I needed it to look more gunky. I know. Details, details. Go back and look at it. Uh, thanks for uh, coming in. Thanks for giving us a shout out here at the YouTube. On oh, my YouTube machine. Uh, if you give a comment, I will say your name on the YouTube machine. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Click the red button.